in this session, we're going to look at creating media inside of the interface. So you've already seen the shapes and I'm assuming you've already created shapes of your own ready to start adding an animation to them. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create a window output. So I've just gone to my project mode and I've created an output and you'll see if I move this up and down, it directly moves the interface up and down. So you can see already I've got my four shapes visible and that's because I've got an outline on them so we can see them. So let's have a look at how we do that. If I select the triangle and I go over to here, you'll notice because it has a red selection, it's then selected as an outline. And again, I can go through these. I can go through blinking, which is what is happening now. Let me just select all of them. Let's have a look over here and we'll try some different effects out so you guys can see what's going on. And it gives you a little bit more of an idea for when you're going to start mapping your own content. Okay, so that's all of them that are affected by that there. Let's uh, move across to our um, mapping. So we're going to go for our line and we're just going to increase that. And if I just go to that there and turn that on, I can increase the fixed width of that. I can increase the length. I can increase um, the dashes there and just click that onto normal. And you'll see already that's now changed the animation. So it's really simple heavy M in terms of changing effects, having a look at them, seeing what you can do um, and getting real time feedback, which I think is really important. I'm just going to uh, move this across here, make it a little bit smaller and then we'll have our projection window over here. So you guys get to see it without me having to switch between the interface and the projection window. I'm just going to go over to repeat and I'm going to turn repeat on. And if I just change the number of times I want that to repeat, you'll notice that effect is now repeated and it's already started to create some really interesting animated effects that we could projection map and just move that across. So as you can see, that's one fixed width and I'm just moving that and I'm just getting some real time feedback, just looking at it, seeing what these effects do. Um, and what I can do is I can also go back and I can turn them off again, have a look, see what I like, see what preferences, change the colors etc. And this is just affecting group one. So this is all in group one. So if I nip across over to the next one and I just click the fill in. So this is my color. You'll notice that's giving it a full color. And again, I can change that. I can give it a gradient. So it has a color in the background. Um, I can change each one as a different color based on the colors I've got selected in the weight. So I've got um, a randomized effect here. So some are yellow, some are pinkish, and they um, will change depending on that rotation. So I'm adding effects and I'm layering as I go and I can change this up here and again, get all that real time feedback as we're, as we're working, which is absolutely brilliant. The guys at Heavy M have done a fantastic job um, in terms of creating a projection mapping software that's really simple. As you guys know, I do other projection mapping courses and Heavy M is by far the most intuitive and I think simplest to use, especially for beginners. Okay, so I'm just going to play with um, some different color combinations and some different weights and so on. I'm going to click the special. I'm just going to turn that on. So remember, by turning it on, I just click the button at the top. And again, I'm just going to play with these and just see what feedback I'm getting. So it's really important to know that some of the effects are overridden by other effects. So you just have to play with it, turn them on and off. Um, see which combination that you really like and that, that really appeals to you. And again, each effect, I can um, add a noise feature in there. So if I've got music playing, I can then add music and I can have the effect respond directly to music. And then I'm just clicking over to the um, transformation tab here and I can add rotation on the X, Y and Z axis. And again, I can change that fixed pattern um, so if I just select these, you'll notice that they're changing in different directions. I mean, I've got them all selected, which looks a little bizarre. So I can just turn one off and one on just so you can see how this effect works, really. And I will go into detail um, on some other effects as we go through. So I'm just turn that off. So I'm just going to turn structure on. Structure is one of my favorite ones, actually. Um, and I tend to use structure a lot on its own without other effects uh, enabled because it gives you some really beautiful almost ethereal patterns and I can change the colors of those. And you can just see underneath um, the transform effect and underneath the multiply effect that there is another effect under there and that's the structure effect. 
I think you'll agree it looks really, really pretty. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to keep playing with this and get ready for our next session where we'll dive a little bit deeper into some more of the effects. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next session.